Well, spring is finally here, uh, so it's time to put up the solar heater. So I just want to make this video on how I had mine set up this year versus how I had mine set up last year. Uh, this is the second heater that I made. I used the uh, can over the other can method, or I call it the no adhesive method. Uh, this heater is hinged like I had the other uh, heater, so you can adjust the angle. Uh, for for maximum sunlight, and I will be adding a double sun, or some people just call them reflectors next year. Uh, hopefully, I can get more heat out of it. Uh, this year, I didn't have a double sun on it, but definitely next year. And I've even had a thought of putting some rocks in the bottom to capture the heat better and to hold it, and maybe get heat out of it longer throughout the day. Uh, just a thought anyway. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but get the rocks for free out of the yard and give it a shot. Last year we used 4-inch uh, vents. Uh, this year we switched to 6-inch vents, which seemed to uh, work pretty well for us. Uh, quite a bit uh, more expensive though, but definitely worth uh, the money. Okay, this is the, the intake vent, and just to show you, there's a lot of wires here. But I just used um, a couple of very big zip strips to attach it to the vent, uh, and that's the intake. And the exhaust, which runs into our, basically our kitchen slash living room, there's that long one that goes way all the way down there. And also zip stripped. Okay, uh, this year I decided to go with two fans. And let me show you the fans, what they look like uh, when you buy them. Basically, it's got a big clip and it also comes with a wall mount. So they're in their DC, which, oops, there's the, the cigarette light adapter. And so the power comes from solar. And which is just a positive and negative running off the, the batteries for off the grid. And the on switch, which is right there in the green box, is just a plain old house thermostat. And so when it hits a certain temperature, both fans turn on, uh, let's say 70 degrees, I think is what I had it set at this, this year. And I have it set on air conditioner mode, so when it hits 70 degrees, it believes it has to run the fans to uh, cool it down. And when it went below 70 degrees, you know, it shut itself off. Okay, let's talk about the fans now. The, the fans that I bought, I bought two 12-volt DC fans from Walmart. They're originally $9. Uh, then in the wintertime, they went on clearance for $6. And now, which is springtime, they shot up to $11, doesn't make much sense. Uh, let me show you how I have the, the fans in there, the intake and the exhaust. And I think I'm going to switch that out next year, but I just want to show you what they look like this year. Okay, here is my intake fan. A little hard to see. Let me show you. I just took some scrap metal, made a side for the vent. The then just sit over it, clamp it down. Okay, so we can get back in there. So there is the intake, and here's the switch uh, that I usually left on that, that comes with the fan. Okay, and that blew the, obviously the air from the house into the, the heater to be warmed up. Okay, and this is the exhaust fan. And the exhaust fan uh, ran into our kitchen, living room. It's an open floor plan, so it kind of blew through the whole house nice. And just run that fire real quick. It's still pretty warm. Okay, as you can tell, that sounded pretty loud. That is one of the problems I had with the fans being inside. Next year, I'm going to build a casing from outside and hopefully they're not so loud. Okay, and finally, um, as I did last year, I will be 
Uh, removing all these vents here, uh, taking those out, capping off the ends, and since I have these hinged like I, I did the one last year, I will uh, just take this, swing it underneath the deck, and have a hook on the bottom, and it'll lay completely flat again, um, underneath the deck, and that definitely helps with uh, keeping it out of the sun, and also protecting the glass from like lawnmowers and stuff like that. All right. I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you. Take care and God bless.